Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. I wanted to do a video on this the beginning season duck and crane hunting because Chuck and I have been going on these forums. There's a lot of new duck hunters to Alaska. Uh, seems like some of the guys moved up here and I just wanted to talk about what it, the season has been like for me. Now, Chuck and I both identify as poors, so we don't have a John boat. If you wanna do good duck hunting uh, in South Central Alaska, get yourself a John boat with an outboard motor and go to these lakes where these guys are limiting out. We've, we're just finding spots that we can kind of hike into, drive to and hike into, and we usually do all right, but this warm weather, we had, you know, whatever, 10 days of 90 degree weather here in South Central Alaska, and I think that's why we're not seeing as many ducks as we did last year. I mean, my spot was just, I was drowning in mallards and pintails and spoonies, and I, I was doing really good in September. Uh, we're already 10 days into the season right now, and I finally got a duck um, and just a mallard hen, and I'll talk about, you know, how I get those. But um, it's been crane hunting for me, and it's been really cool because I'll go out to my spot in the morning and even in the evening, and I'll see maybe 10 or 20 ducks, sometimes more, but I will see 200 cranes. I mean, the cranes, after shooting light starts in about an hour in waves, they'll go northeast to their feeding grounds, I'm guessing, and then in the evening, they fly back, and sometimes they're low enough to take out. That's why I switched to BBs. I mean, I'm just crane hunting every day. That's a little far. They're coming straight for us. Yeah. Yeah. It never fails. Every day. So I'm getting, uh, I'm hunting with BBs, and I did knock a crane down, and I'm really disappointed because I could not find it. I, I saw it go limp and drop. You know, maybe it crawled off somewhere, but. That's the uh, reality of hunting without a dog. These swamps will swallow up your bird. So um, that was very disappointing. You gotta be ready for that. Another thing that, uh, you know, I've got a buddy from the Midwest. He's an expert duck hunter, just a professional duck hunter. And he came up here, he started calling and he couldn't believe it. He said these mallards would completely ignore his calls. So you gotta go light on the calls. They will do that. Some of the local ducks especially will ignore your calls. I found if you get some migratory birds moving in, which we haven't had a whole lot because it's still warm, uh, they'll respond to the calls, but so will these lonely hens. This was beautiful. Um, these, these, I had a couple uh, hens fly over. They went over my decoys. I, I got low and I started calling. They did a big circle slowed down and came right over my my decoys and it's mainly because of this thing if you can get a mojo anything with movement um you're gonna get ducks i mean this this thing is incredible uh... yeah i've always done well with the mojo so get a mojo um and go really light on the calling. If, if you're calling and you notice they veer away once you start calling, just stop. Rely on your decoys. But anyways, I'm hoping it gets better. Um, also join the Alaska Waterfowl Association, I think they're called. Uh, I keep meaning to, but I missed the banquet. But if, if you're new to uh, Alaska or duck hunting in general, uh, get in with those guys and join them and go to the banquet and, uh, and you'll have a lot of fun, so. Once it gets cold, I'm hoping we get a rush of a week or so of a lot of birds, but we'll see. I've got one so far, so not doing too good, but uh, I'm tied with Chuck and I'm gonna keep hunting. So thanks guys, it's Chuk, your friend in the field. Chuk's Outdoor Adventures.